On behalf of the Asian Pacific Society of Digestive Endoscopy, we would like to share with you the position statements on the practice of endoscopy for COVID-19, which was published in GUTS. We have gathered 16 experts from different parts of Asia to share our collective experience in combating this pandemic during a time when the supply of PPE is so limited. I'm Siu Eng from the Chinese Institute of Hong Kong and in our APSD position statement, one of the key issues is about strategies to triage and access risk of patients with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 before endoscopy. We recommend screening based on history, travel history, symptoms as well as exposure. And if the COVID-19 test is available, it is recommended that patients are tested before endoscopy. The second statement uh, relates to um, prioritizing our endoscopies. We would recommend that deferment of any elective endoscopies should be considered until further notice during the COVID-19 outbreak. And this really relates to how severe the outbreak is within the community. There are certain urgent endoscopies that required to be done, and these include the acute GI bleed, biliary sepsis, perforation, or other causes such as um, foreign body um, ingestion. But apart from that, it's very important to evaluate the situation where by semi-urgent or sort of non-urgent endoscopies are postponed depending on the situation of the outbreak. Uh, the third statement relates to strategy, that is urgent endoscopies should ideally be performed by strategically assigned staff to minimise concomitant exposure. It's important that the room is kept whereby there is a minimum number of staff such as an experienced endoscopist and only two experienced nurses and time should be allowed between endoscopies for disinfectant procedure to minimise the infection risk. I'm Philip Chiu from the Department of Surgery, Chinese University of Hong Kong. And uh, the other statements that we have include that uh, resource reallocation for staff and medical equipment is recommended to prepare for a surge in healthcare demand. We actually learned that uh, recently with the COVID-19 pandemics, there is a significant increase in the demand for every resource at the endoscopy center. And uh, we worry that there could be a down a trend in terms of our resource, hence we should reallocate our resource to preserve the surge capacity for the hospital to manage COVID-19 patients. Regular monitoring of supply and use of personal protective equipment is necessary to adjust endoscopy service and uphold the morale to the staff. Indeed, with the limitation in the PPE available at the endoscopy center, we should focus on provision of services to emergency. While we should have a good platform for communication between uh, administrative staff and also endoscopists and nursing staff and other healthcare providers in order to have a better understanding of uh, the availability of the PPE and to uphold the morale for all the staff working at the endoscopy. Healthcare workers should practice standard infection control for endoscopy and this is very important for self-protection of healthcare workers working during the uh, COVID-19 pandemics. This is because uh, with the uh, increasing incidence of COVID-19, we are worried that during endoscopy, healthcare providers uh, will get infected. Hence, they should practice the standard infection control. And healthcare workers should receive adequate training on gunning and removal of the PPE. From our experience, this is very important as that during the process of ganging and removal of the PPE, there is a risk of infection. Hence, healthcare workers should receive adequate training during this period of COVID-19 pandemics to prevent infection trans transmission of COVID-19. We also recommend that extra precaution is taken during colonoscopies and this is because emerging evidence suggests that there's prolonged fecal shedding of the SARS-CoV-2 can occur and this can occur up to 47 days even after the disappearance of the respiratory symptoms and when patient has been tested tested negative. So we recommend that colonoscopies is also considered a high-risk procedure and all enhanced protection should be um, worn by all staffs within the endoscopy unit. 
in suspected cases of COVID-19, endoscopies should be performed in negative pressure room when it is available within the institution, with very strict isolation precautions in order to minimize the risk to the patients and also to other staffs and healthcare professional. Because it has been shown during SARS in 2003 that the risk of infection really is about 5% to the physicians and 4% to the nursing staff. One of the important statements relates to this infection and policy for endoscopy rooms, especially for reprocessing of the instruments, should be enhanced in order to protect the nursing staff. Because endoscopy is an aerosol generating um, procedure, and we know that SARS CoV 2 may actually be uh, present around of surfaces for uh, quite some time. So, this infection policy for the scopes itself and the endoscopy room is very important. Stepwise resumption of elective endoscopy services should be guided by the control of the COVID-19 in the local community, availability of manpower and equipment supply. At this present moment, we are still not yet able to resume normal service. But however, during the process of management of COVID-19, there will be a point that we should consider how to resume our regular endoscopy services and this will depend on the local community control and the availability of the manpower especially when some of the healthcare providers were deployed to different wards to manage COVID-19 patients and also the availability of the PPE and the equipment. On behalf of Asian Pacific Society for Digest Endoscopy, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to Dr. Philip Chu and the faculty members to issue positional statement on practice of endoscopy. I really hope this video will contribute to prevention of COVID-19 virus infection among healthcare professionals. <music>